Hello students, I am Manoj Kundare, the Assistant Professor of Electronic Science. Welcome back to our e-learning platform. In previous video, we have seen the details about the T-Mode and Ticon register. The link of the previous video is available in the description box. Please check it. In that video, we have seen the T-Mode register, that means the timer mode register. The T-Mode is an 8-bit register. In this register, the lower 4 bits are used for the timer 0 and the upper 4 bits are used for the timer 1. The lower 4 bits are identical with the upper 4 bits. That means the bits are gate, C oblique T bar, M1 and M0. Here, M1 and M0 are the bits which is used to specify the timer counter modes of 8051 microcontroller. C oblique T bar bit is used to define the operation of the timer or the counter. Okay, that means if C is C oblique T bar is equal to 1, then it performs as the counter, and if C oblique T bar is equal to 0, then it performs as a timer. Okay, the next bit is gate bit. When gate bit is equal to 1, that means it enables the specific timer when the TRX bit is also 1. But when the gate bit is equal to 0, then we can turn on the timer by using TRX is equal to 1 and INTX is equal to 1. I hope you all remember these things. The next register is TICON register which is known as the timer control register. The bits of the TICON register are such as TF1 that means timer 1 overflow flag, TR1 that means timer 1 run flag, TF0 timer 0 overflow flag, TR0 timer 0 run flag, IE1 and IE0 stands for interrupt enable flag and IT1 and IT0 are used for the timer 1 and timer 0 interrupt. Okay, now let's see our today's topic, the timer modes of the operation. We know that in 8051 microcontroller, there are two timers, T0 and T1. These two timers are works in four modes. The four modes are selected by using the bits M1 and M0 of T mode register. When the combination of M1 and M0 is having both value 00, then mode 0 is selected which is 13 bit timer mode when m1 equal to 0 and m0 equal to 1 then mode 1 is selected which is 16 bit timer mode when m1 is equal to 1 and m0 equal to 0 then mode 2 is selected which is 8 bit auto reload mode and when m1 and m0 both having the value 1 1 then mode 3 is selected which is split timer mode. Let's see the details about each mode one by one. First of all, we have to know the timer counter control logic of 8051 microcontroller. This is the diagram for timer counter control logic. In that diagram, we can see here that the timer or counter operation is depends upon the C oblique T bar pin. That means if C oblique T bar is equal to 0 then it performs the timer operation and when C oblique T bar is equal to 1 then it performs the counter operation okay this is the main difference is here that C oblique T bar is equal to 0 then it performs timer operation if C oblique T bar is equal to 1 then it performs counter operation here are some bits are TR bits that means timer run bit, gate bit and INT0 or INT1 bit. Okay. Let's see the details about each this diagram. In this diagram, the bit details are C oblique T bar. When C oblique T bar is equal to 1, that means it has a high value, then it is configured for the counter operation. Okay. That means when C oblique T bar is connected to 1, then it performs the counter operation and the pulses for the counter are from the counter input pin which is of T1 
and t0 okay if c oblique t bar has the value 0 that means c oblique t bar has the value 0 then it performs the timer operation okay if c oblique t bar is equal to 0 then it performs the timer operation and the source of pulses is from the crystal oscillator and divided by 12 oscillator okay the next bit is gate bit we already learned about this gate bit let's see once again when gate is equal to 1 that means gate has the value 1 then timer 0 or timer 1 will be in run mode when trx bit of tcon register is high that means when gate has the value 1 then the timer is enabled only when the tr bit is also 1 or high and if the gate has the value 0 then the timer 0 or timer 1 will be in run mode only when the trx bit of tcon register is high and the int 0 or the int1 that means intx pin is high okay that means when gate is equal to 0 then timer enable operation is depends upon this intx pin okay i hope you all now understand the timer counter logic of the 8051 microcontroller now let's see the process of the counting the only difference between timing and counting is the source of the clock pulses to the counter okay when it is used as a timer the clock pulses are sourced from the oscillator through divided by 12 circuit that means when c oblique t bar is equal to 0 then it is used as timer and in that case the source of the clock pulses are from this crystal oscillator and divided by 12 circuit okay this is the timer circuit when it is used as a counter pin t0 that means p3.4 supplies the pulses to counter 0 and pin t1 p3.5 supplies the pulses to the counter 1 that means here are the t0 and t1 pins which sub provides a pulses to the counter when c oblique t bar is equal to 1 i hope you all understand the counting process the c oblique t bar bit in t mode must be set to 1 to enable pulses from the tx pin to reach the control circuit okay now let's see the timer modes of the 8051 microcontroller the first mode is timer mode 0 it is also known as the 13 bit timer mode okay it is a 13 bit mode can hold the values from 000h to 1fffh it uses 5 bits of tlx and 8 bits of thx here tlx means tl0 and tl1 and thx means th0 and th1 that means here the 13 bits are formed by 5 bits of tlx and 8 bits of the thx okay whenever the timer reaches its maximum value it rolls over to the 00h and tfx flag is set that means when the timer overflows that means when it reaches to one fffh value then this tfx flag sets that means it has the value 1 and this timer is rolls over to initial value 000h i hope you all understand the timer mode 0 operation similarly we can see here the timer mode 1 operation or it is called as the 16 bit timer mode it is same as mode 0 except that it is a 16 bit timer where timer mode 0 is 13 bit hence we use 5 bits of low and 8 bits of high here we are going to see 16 bit timer mode hence here the 8 bits of low and 8 bits of high okay it can hold the values from 000h to fffh it uses 8 bits of tlx and all the 8 bits of thx okay 8 plus h is equal to 16 bit timer okay whenever 
the timer reaches its maximum value that means whenever the timer reaches the value yep 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 h then it rolls over to 0000h and tfx flags sets okay i hope you all understand the timer mode 0 and the timer mode 1 now let's see the next timer mode the timer mode 2 it is known as the 8 bit auto reload mode okay it is an 8 bit auto reload mode that means it counts or it has the values from 00h to fffh the values are allowed to be loaded into thx that means the values are loaded into the thx register when thx is loaded 8051 copies the same values in tlx and timer gets started by setting trx pin that means whatever the value thx has this value is copied into the tlx that means tlx and thx now has the same value and after copying the trx bit sets and the timer starts it counts up by incrementing tlx register while thx contains remains as it is that means when thx is loaded the contents of the thx are copied into the tlx and the timer starts by setting trx bit after this process the tlx are incrementing the, or the tlx flag tlx register is incrementing at the same time thx remains as it is or remains as same when tlx counts up to fff that means now tlx has the value fff that means it has the maximum value then it rolls over to 00h and the tfx flag sets okay the tlx register is again gets reloaded by thx and thx values that means when the tlx has the maximum value fff then it rolls over to the value 00h and in this case the tfx flag set okay then in this case the tfx flag now becomes reset and the whatever the value of thx has this is value is again reloaded into the thx register only thing is important to clear the tfx bit before reloading takes place counting starts again i hope you all understand the process of the timer mode to mode okay now let's see the third mode timer mode 3 it is known as the split timer mode it is 2 8 bit timer mode 2 8 bit timers are available which counts from 00h to fff one of the 16 bit timer is off we know that in 8051 microcontroller there are two timers t0 and t1 if we use the t0 timer then in this case the t1 timer remains off okay if we use the t1 timer then in that case t0 timer is off that is one of the 16 bit timer is off okay now if the timer 0 is used as two 8 bit timers then tl0 will use all signals like tf0 tr0 that means when timer 0 is used then the tl0 uses all the signals like tf0 and tr0 while th0 that means while th0 will use the signals of the timer tf1 and tr1 okay timer 1 may be programmed into mode 0 1 2 but will not generate any interrupt as its interrupt flag is used by th0 okay i hope you all understand all the four modes of the timer let's see once again the timer mode 0 the timer mode 0 it is also known as the 13 bit timer mode in which the 5 bits of tlx and 8 bits of thx are used in this mode it can hold the values from 000h to 1 f f f h okay when the timer has the maximum value that means 1 f f h 
then tfx flex set and it rolls over to 0000 yet okay similarly we can see the timer mode 1 that means 16 bit timer mode the tlx register has the 8 bits and thx has the 8 bits that means total 16 bit timer in this mode it can hold the values from 00h to f f f f h when it has the maximum value f f f h then tfx flex sets and it rolls over to initial value 0000 h okay now the next timer mode is timer mode 2 it is known as 8 bit auto reload mode that means whatever the value thx has it is loaded into tlx okay now thx and tlx has the same values but here the tlx is incremented at the same time the thx remains as it is when the tlx incremented and reaches at the maximum value that means at ffh then tfx flex sets and it is rolls over to 00h now again to start the timer we have to clear this tfx flag that means now the tfx flags has to value 0 that means we have to reset it and again reload the values of thx into tlx for the timer operation or the counter operation the next mode is timer mode 3 okay it is also called as split timer mode that means here there are two timers in 8051 t0 and t1 we can use only one timer at the same time the second timer is off okay that means tl0 and tl0 acts as the separate timers while we using tl0 then we can use the other flags of the timer 0 such as tf0 and tr0 but in the case of th0 the other flags of the timer 1 are used that means tf1 and tr1 are used okay i hope you all understand all the four modes of timer and counter thank you